It's a beautiful Victorian. It's special. It's got three floors with a basement rental below. And we think that this house is probably late 1800s. I was really hoping that we would look at a Victorian today. She was. Mm -hmm. Well, this is your lucky day. There's a beautiful garden in the back. I will meet you there after the tour. OK, right. sounds good. Let's, let's go. Let's go to it. All right, let's check this out. Well, we're moving on up in Logan's okay. Circle. And from this perspective, you see how grand this entire home is. Let's start here let's first. Let's go. Let's... OK. Here we are in this grand living room. Yep. And then you have this lovely bay window and fireplace that's not original. You can tell, you know, people have added their own tastes over the years. All right, All right. well, let's check out the dining room. All right. An extension of the living room. Right, and you know that light fixture? Mm-hmm. It kind of is like medieval farmhouse combination. <laughs> I feel like that. Medieval farmhouse. I think you coined a new term. Thank you. And again, it's a big mix of eras in this house. <laughs> okay, let me check to see. We have over here. Okay, half I bath have bath. Room. I would say that's circa 90s <laughs> All right, renovation. Now, this, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm just perplexed. This is where the puzzle starts with right. this house. Did the house end here, the original house, and this is an addition? Or was there another house behind it, and they bought it and combined it? I know how we can find out. Let's go check it out. Down. Hey, watch oh, your head. Watch your head. Got a duck. Oh, OK. I've been wanting to see this. With that beautiful brick wall, mm -hmm. I would have wine racks, a wine cellar flanking these walls. What I really like is the use of space, this uh, bay window they put in a little office area. And that leads okay. us right into another great space, the kitchen. OK. What I think they did well with this kitchen layout was they really utilized the space well. You've got this corner, they put cabinets, and yet they kept the brick wall, which is definitely a focal point in this room. It feels very old world, especially oh, with that arch. Old world, yeah. 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 OK, All I right. like this kitchen. So I see the spiral staircase. Let's go going explore up. up. OK. Now these make me a little dizzy. OK. OK, right. nice office space. It's a perfect spot Could for an office. Could be a TV room. Yeah. And you know, we have a full bathroom. Oh, that's nice. Looking at these floors, these are new floors. Yeah. So this may have been an addition or well, where? Well, I think so, maybe, because okay. we're above that casual dining room right no. now and then the living space, so mm -hmm. could well could be. be. Could be. All right, up the steps. And these are original pine floors, I yeah. can tell. So these are original steps to the house. OK, into bedroom number one. Yeah which looks like a bedroom and a half. You know, it's so big, you could actually have two bedrooms in the space if you built a wall here. Oh, you could. So this would be bedroom number one. Right, but I, I don't want bedroom number two because it would have the cozy fireplace. Yep, gas fireplace. Mm -hmm. just and it would also have the bay window. Bay window, and it's got a walk-in closet. Oh. <gasps> Take a look at this behind you. I oh think we gosh. found the bathroom. How did we miss this? We've got a bathroom circa 1990-something. Yeah, I mean, it could use a little updating, but again, it's fine mm -hmm. as is. You got a nice shower. Double vanity. This would be the primary bedroom. Mm, let me think about it. Is there a larger bathroom suite in this house? I would be shocked if there or is. Or a larger bedroom? If there is, I'll give you $1,000. OK. Well, we do have another floor. OK, let's go. <laughs> I think we'll find more bedrooms Back up, up there. The steps. Oh, hey. You feel a little uh, one-sided here. They're just original. Original details galore. Bedroom number two. I really like what they've done with this bedroom. You too. Because you have this nice area for your bed, dresser. Mm -hmm. But then you have this other area that's perfect for a little workspace. It's just really spacious. Or even a little sitting room would be nice right there. Nice. Okay. All, All right. right. Let's keep moving. And let's see. This must be a linen closet. No! It looks like a linen closet, but it's the secret <laughs> bathroom from the 70s. And you know, this is such a nice space that yeah. if it was re-envisioned, it would make a dynamite bath for this floor. Definitely, yeah. definitely. OK. And, oh. I think this is my favorite bedroom in the house. Well, I can see why. I mean, you've got the bay windows. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just see yourself curling up on that chair with a book. Yeah, lots of good windows, lots of good light. All right, oh, yeah. so this leaves us with just the lower rental unit. Yeah, let's go I can't wait to look at that. All right, let's head down to the basement apartment. Get a lovely view of the garden from this point of view. That is a really pretty garden. Nicely done. 
Whoa. Now this is unexpected. Whoa, what a surprise. And look at these concrete floors in mm -hmm. here. Polished. Polished, yes. High polished, yes. Okay, and you know, I'm looking up at the ceiling. I think that looks like cedar. Yep, cedar with these great beams. Mm -hmm. But the space in general, I mean, We've got a great little sitting area, mm -hmm. but I mean, really, this is the room. It's like one giant kitchen. I get a pub feel. Very urban, modern feel to it. Let me check out more okay. of this kitchen. You have everything KitchenAid in this kitchen. Wine fridge, stovetop, oven, microwave, and dishwasher. And then did you see these cabinets? Are those lights in there? They're lights because there are no backs to the cabinets so that you can see the exposed brick. What's behind that door? Closet pantry. Oh, washer, dryer. Your washer, your dryer. Nice. And then this is a nice entrance to the bedroom. Got your brick accent wall. Brick. Okay, and then full bath. Oh, wow. Brand spanking new. Look at the marble countertops. Mm -hmm. I like the tile and the basket weave of floor tile. Well, I would say they did an A plus on this lower floor renovation. And I think that concludes our tour. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> so what'd you think? OK, what I would say about this place, it's a great conversation place. Something special, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Yes. It definitely has a wow factor walking into that ginormous living room, dining mm -hmm. room. Can we just talk for a moment about those archways? And the stairways. Right. Something new to explore on right. every floor. Because the first one, you went down into the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. And then upstairs, you had one that went into the bathroom. Right. It's a great house. There's some restoration that could be done, and there's mm -hmm. some renovation yes. that could be done, right? Yeah. yeah. We saw a mix of both. So it is definitely a Logan Circle gem. Yes. Five bedrooms. Yep. Three and a half baths. It's approximately 4,500 square feet, built in the late 1800s. It does have that lower level rental mm -hmm. unit, which is brand new. Mm -hmm. Loved it. And this lovely garden with parking, which is essential. I'm just going to say 3.5 million. OK. I don't know what to think, honestly. I'm going to go with a price of 2.6. Oh. So the actual list price is $2.15 million. Oh, oh come gosh, on. Gosh, are you serious? Yeah. Wow, I just really, I went high. Right. Well, if we had had a brand new kitchen and brand new baths, yes. right. it would be a much bigger number. Yes. But this one allows the pricing for opportunities.